Do you guys remember Skyblock? No, not that Skyblock, this Skyblock. And with the release of the new 1.18 update, I found out something interesting. Dripstone and a Cauldron absolutely break the game mode. Let me explain. Before we start, here's the like to dislike ratio of the last video I made. Okay, let's go. Now I know what you're gonna say. You can't get Dripstone and a Cauldron and Skyblock. This video is clickbait. Now hold on, you keyboard warriors. This video is purely for fun, and it's stuff that I find in-game that I think is interesting enough to make a video on. Don't get mad at me for it, but enough stalling. Let's get on with it. So Dripstone has a unique property where if you put a liquid source block above where Dripstone is hanging and you put a Cauldron underneath, within one game day, the Cauldron of the block will fill up with the source block that you put above. This means that you can actually get infinite lava so long as you don't remove the source block above. I sped up the tick rate to show you that I'm not lying to you guys. And by using the lava and water, you can create another portal without using the obsidian you obtained from the sand island. Now why is this relevant? Because skyblock isn't an infinite void. Yeah. This is the mainland. And that's my island. It is about 600 blocks from here to there. So while you could spend hours gathering the blocks and bridging over, it's faster if you use the lava acquired to build another portal and then bridge about 100 blocks through the nether and use the obsidian tape to build another portal to the mainlands of freedom. And yes, I know it's against the rules to build to the mainland, but it's not about following the rules. It's about drive, and it's about power. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work, put in the hours, and take what's ours.